Hey, what's up guys? My name is Saurav and this is my YouTube channel Data Science Novice. So if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. Your efforts are massively appreciated. So I am starting this new series or you can say course on natural language processing. So before proceeding, I want to highlight that I have just completed a video series on deep learning with TensorFlow. And there is ongoing series on data science project in which I have uploaded project from beginner level to expert level. So don't forget to watch them. So if you are beginner in natural language processing or don't know anything about NLP, this is the right course for you. Because I have designed this course in such a way that you won't be having any problem. So let's get started. The first question you may ask, what is NLP? So according to Wikipedia, natural language processing is subfield of linguistic, computer science, artificial intelligence, concerned with interaction between computers and human language. So if we try to summarize this in a simple language, we can say that how to program computer to understand the human language. And when we say language, it is not limited to English only, but other languages as well. So why do we need NLP? So we as a human can tell whether our document is garbage or have something important in it. But one thing that we lack is the speed and the amount of information we can hold or the ability to understand the hidden patterns. But on the other hand, Computer can cramp numerical data and can drop pattern out of it, but they cannot understand the text data. So for that, we have to convert the text data into numerical format. And in that case, the knowledge of NLP comes really handy. And mind you, text data is highly unstructured in nature. So in NLP, we use several techniques to structure the text data and convert it into understandable format for the computer. So some of the application of NLP are chatbots, text-to-speech, Google Translator, etc. So now let's talk about the course structure that what we are going to learn. And during the development of the course, I will be adding new things. So this is just a raw structure to tell you that what we are going to learn. We are going to learn some additional thing as well that I have not talked about in this slide. And side by side, I have created another playlist on NLP project so that you don't get bored cramping all the concepts. And the benefit of this is that you will be able to apply whatever you learn on the projects. So first we will start with regular expression also known as regex. It is a base library in Python and mostly used to find the pattern in text data and also used for cleaning the text data. And we will clean the data step by step using regex and finally we will build a function that will do all these things for us. And then we will understand the basics of SPACI and NLTK. These are the two main libraries of natural language processing and we will explore them throughout the course. Then we will talk about the basic tool of NLP like tokenization, displacy, which is used for visualization, the text data, stemming, lemmatization, and stop words. So these things are really handy when we are dealing with text data. So we will explore them in detail. Then we will explore the parts of speech and name entity recognition and see how the spacey is able to understand the different meaning of same word used in different sentences. And we will see that how the spacey is able to identify different entities like Apple as a company or America as a country. I will be covering this topic from the beginning because they are really short. These topics are really helpful when you are doing some kind of linguistic study. That is something you only do for research work. So we will only touch this topic. We will not go into the details of these topics. And then we will have all these topics where we will explore the algorithms and we will see the use cases like sentiment analysis, topic modeling, etc, etc. And finally, when we have the understanding about NLP, then we will combine the knowledge of deep learning with NLP. So make sure to finish off my deep learning with TensorFlow course as well. So now let's talk about SPACI. So SPACI is an open source software library for advanced natural language processing. It is written in Python and Cython. Cython is a superset of Python. So its main developer are Matthew and Ennis. And our focus will be more on SPACI because it's developed recently. Like you can see that the first version was released in October 19, 2016. Then they had the second version on November 7, 2017. And recently they have released the third version on February 1. So it was developed keeping industrial aspect in mind. Since it is developed more recently, so it has more features like it has support for 64 plus languages. It has 55 trained pipelines for 17 language multitask learning with pre-trained transformers like BERT. Then we have pre-trained word 2 vec 
and state of the art speed and it support custom models in pytorch tensorflow or other framework as well and we will explore them in detail in later section so let's talk about another library that is nltk stands for natural language toolkit so it is an open source library nltk has been called a wonderful tool for teaching and working in computational linguistic using python and it is amazing library to play with natural language it is basically designed for teaching and research areas like cognitive science artificial intelligence etc etc it was released in year 2001 so it's almost 20 years since the development and it's quite an older one and there are other libraries as well that i haven't touched upon but i will surely do as the course progress so next thing is we have to install these library in our system so let's open up the folder in which you have installed the python so in my case this is the path and inside that you have a script folder so open up that folder then right click on anywhere you will have the option of open terminal so once the terminal is open you can see the directory so type pip install hyphen capital u spacey and press enter and don't worry about this command you can find it below so i have already installed this library so it won't take much time for me but in your case it may take some time so once we have this pc the next thing we have to do is to install language model so just type python hyphen m spacey download en we are basically downloading the english model of spacey and there are three versions of it small medium and large and by default it will be downloading the smaller language model for us and don't worry if you are not getting the same output because i have already installed these library so you can see that the package is load and we can see that the command to you know load this library next thing is we have to install nltk library and for that we just have to call pip install nltk So now we have everything up and running. So if you are getting any error, let me know in the comment section. I will try to help you. So that's all for this video. So if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe and press the bell icon for the future updates. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Wear mask and stay safe.